Hello explorers of the ancient world. Today we're diving in to the late Cretaceous period where one of the most fearsome predators roamed, the Dinosuchus, known as the Terror Crocodile. Imagine a world where dinosaurs not only ruled the land but also had to watch out for colossal crocodiles with teeth as big as bananas. This is the story of a creature that was once the nightmare of any dinosaur wandering too close to the water's edge. Stick around as we uncover the mysteries of Dinosuchus, a predator with a jaw force that could crush even the mightiest of dinosaur bones. Dinosuchus, translating to terrible crocodile from Greek, was no ordinary croc. Discovered across North America, from the eastern shores to the western expanses, this giant lived between 75 and 82 million years ago. Initially, paleontologists thought that there were three distinct species, but new research led by Adam Cassette has led to the recognition of a new species, Dinosuchus swimmeri. This discovery was made by re-evaluating fossils and combining evidence from across the continent, showing just how much we still have to learn about these ancient beasts. Envision a crocodile, but amplify it to a monstrous size. Dinosuchus could grow up to 33 feet long. Its most striking feature? Teeth the size of bananas, capable of devastating force. These weren't just for show, they were tools for a life of ambush and predation. The skull of Dinosuchus had a unique, broad and elongated shape, ending in a bulbous snout, unlike anything seen in modern crocodilians. One intriguing mystery are two large vents at the end of its snout, whose purpose remains a mystery. Could they have helped regulate body temperature or serve another function? The debate continues among scientists. Dinosuchus was perfectly adapted to this environment living in a time when North America was split by the Western Interior Seaway, creating diverse aquatic habitats. These terror crocs were apex predators in both freshwater and brackish environments, lying in wait for unsuspecting prey. Their diet likely included a variety of animals, but we have evidence suggesting they particularly relished in the challenge of taking down dinosaurs like Albertosaurus. Imagine this, a dinosaur, perhaps just coming for a drink, suddenly finding itself in the grasp of this ancient predator, dragged into the water to meet its doom. Amazingly, the preserved fossils of two contemporaneous North American Tyrannosaurs Appalachiosaurus and Albertosaurus bear clear evidence of Dinosuchus bite marks. It's not clear if these individuals succumbed to the attacks or went on to scavenge for another day after their wounds healed. But you have to admit, a 30 foot long crocodile lunging at a 30 foot long tyrannosaur makes for a compelling picture. This would not, incidentally, have been the only known dinosaur versus crocodile cage match. If it did in fact prey on dinosaurs on a regular basis, it would go a long way towards explaining the exceptionally large size of Dinosuchus, as well as the enormous force of its bite, about 10,000 to 15,000 pounds per square inch well within Tyrannosaurus rex territory. Like many other animals of the Mesozoic era, 
Dinosuchus has a complicated fossil history. A pair of this crocodile's teeth was discovered in North Carolina in 1858 and attributed to the obscure genus Polypichodon, which it was itself was later recognised as a marine reptile rather than an ancestral crocodile. No less an authority than the American paleontologist Edward Drinker Cope attributed another Dinosuchus tooth discovered in North Carolina to the new genus Polydectes, and a later specimen discovered in Montana was attributed to the armoured dinosaur Euplosilephalus. It wasn't until 1904 that William Jacob Holland re-examined all of the available fossil evidence and erected the genus Dinosuchus. And even after that, the additional Dinosuchus remains were assigned to the now discarded genus Fabosuchus. Other than its enormous proportions, Dinosuchus was remarkably similar to modern crocodiles, an indication of how little the crocodilian line of evolution has changed over the past 100 million years. For many people, this raises the question of why crocodiles managed to survive the KT extinction event 65 million years ago, while their dinosaur and pterosaur cousins all went kaput. It's a little known fact that crocodiles, dinosaurs and pterosaurs all evolved from the same family of reptiles, the archosaurs, during the Middle Triassic period. Experts think it was one of the largest crocodilians that ever walked the planet. It lived alongside many giant dinosaurs and mosasaurs. None of these animals would have been big enough to prey on an adult Dinosuchus, however. They did compete for the same food sources since they shared a habitat. Also, young Dinosuchus probably fell prey to larger marine reptiles. Dinosuchus went extinct towards the end of the Cretaceous period, about 73 million years ago. The exact reason for their extinction isn't known. However, many experts agree that the disappearance of this species occurred before the main extinction event that occurred at the end of the period. From its banana-sized teeth to its mysterious snout apertures, Dinosuchus was not just a terror to dinosaurs, but a puzzle to modern science. This creature reminds us that the past's whole secrets were only just beginning to unlock. Thanks for joining this journey back in time. If you're as fascinated by these ancient predators as I am, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more adventures in paleontology. What would you like to see covered next? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, for more extinct species, dinosaurs and the wonders of our planet's history, check out my playlist on ancient animals. Until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of our past.